Hello everyone, in this video we will be building some lanterns. We used a cedar pick fence, picket fence, <laughs> six foot by five and a half inches, and a hardwood flooring plank, four foot by five inches. And then using, oh you want to plane them first, so go ahead and plane them. And then using the table saw, you're going to want to take that tongue and groove off of the hardwood flooring planks. So just, you know, rip those right off. And then you're going to rip the boards down to half inches. This will be the post for the lanterns. We needed 12 of them, but if you're only creating one lantern, then you're only going to need four of them. And so you will then cut those to eight and a half inches in length using a miter saw or whatever you have. Um, and then after we had done that, we went ahead and cut our picket fence. They're really, the picket fences are really five and a half inches if you get the six foot by six inch ones. And so we cut those to five and a half by five and a half creating these squares. And then we needed six of them in total. So one top, one bottom for each lantern. And then my husband ripped down the rest of that cedar and created three and a half inch in width and then on the miter created three and a half inch in length creating some more squares those will be the pretty little top on on the top board of the lantern and then he put it on the t the router table and created a pretty little decorative round over it's an eighth inch round over and it looks so good we did that on the three and a half by three and a half and the the three five and a half by five and a half for the tops. Then you just go through and you start putting everything together. You put your your posts to the top of your lantern and then you add your bottom and we used wood glue, the tight bond three because these are actually going to be used outdoor. They don't have to be, you can use them inside. Um, and brad nails. And so we went through and we glued and then we used the brad nails and it was a one and a fourth inch 18 gauge brad nails and that's how we connected them. Now the little square that goes the little three and a half inch square that goes on the top we didn't stick any brad nails in there because we didn't have any short enough or quite long enough. We have some really tiny ones that weren't long enough and then we all the rest of them were too long. So we just glued those on just try to make sure that you get everything centered so that way it's not off to one side or crooked in any way and that's what he was doing he was using a pencil and he was making sure everything you know a pencil and a ruler and he was making sure everything was pretty straight and then we just clamped them on So we still had some wood left over from that three and a half inch and what I did was I ripped them down and I made one and a half by one and a half inch little squares and I created little feet for the lanterns. Um, I think it turned out so cute. I didn't like them sitting flat on that little bottom piece. It just looks so skinny and not as pretty as the top and I wanted it to look just as pretty as the top looks. So I went ahead and glued and clamped all of those down. And I just made sure they were, you know, the corners were straight with the corners of that five and a half inch by five and a half inch piece. kind of tricky while you're trying to clamp it down because it tries to move and then clean up the glue less sanding that way <laughs> and I am painting these so they're going to be painted I think the cedar would have been fine for outdoors but I'm not so sure about the hardwood flooring plank <laughs> so and then we just have um what size was the hook? It's one and five eighths inch eye hooks. And that's what we put in the top of that. And I took those off whenever I spray painted them because I didn't want 
I didn't want to spray paint them the same color. I'll just leave them the silver. And now for the paint. So I bought this paint a while back for a different project. And I got it from Hobby Lobby and it's called Iron Lac, I think. Iron Lac, two cents. So it's copper. And it covers really well. <laughs> I was really surprised. It also is UV resistant, which I was pretty shocked to learn because I didn't buy it for an outdoor project. I actually bought it for an indoor one, but this worked out perfect. So hopefully that means that it won't fade as fast, which is good. It was very shiny. It is still very shiny. Um, very happy with it. It covered really well. So I just go through and I started with the bottom and it dries really fast too. I was, I was very surprised about that too. This stuff dries pretty quick. Um, it probably depends on what you're spraying it on. I'm not sure, but it dried really quick. And then you just go through and turn them over once they're dry and finish spraying the rest. What's really cool too about this paint is I can still see the wood grain through the paint. It's very cool. It's a very cool paint. I like it a lot. So Hobby Lobby, Iron Lac, um, I think it's spray paint for like artist spray painters. You know, they go and they do their art, do their art outside. And I think that's what it's for. But anyways, this stuff is amazing. It's very good. So I highly recommend this spray paint if you need spray paint. <laughs> And it really wasn't that expensive either. In fact, I think I got it on sale, which is cool because Hobby Lobby always has sales. So, and there you have it. Look how pretty they are. So for the lights, we bought a package of six at Sam's Club. They're just these little round, short, low lights. Um, that you just, you can put, they have the stakes that you can put them in the ground or you can attach them to concrete or a wall or whatever. But I'm attaching them to the lantern and I'm actually using some screws from a picture hanging kit that I bought off of Amazon. It has a whole bunch of stuff in it. I'll have to link it below um, if I can find it. And so I, they were, the screws were short enough. The screws that came with the lights were not, they were huge. So I used the screws from the picture hanging kit and it worked out great. And all I did was make sure that it was as centered as possible. And then I drilled, pre-drilled some holes and then screwed in the screws by hand. So that way I wasn't like tearing anything up because they're very thin boards. These pickets are pretty thin. And so I think it worked out great. And so far we haven't had any trouble with them not charging, being, you know, under the lantern, sitting out on the front porch. They've been lit up every night, so I think it I think we made it tall enough and hopefully it'll all work out. If if I notice that they're not charging correctly, I'll just remove it and let them sit in the sun and then put them back on in the evening. And if you wanted this for indoors, I would say use those battery operated fake candles. Um, but I wouldn't recommend a real candle because I don't think it's a good idea to have fire underneath this wood lantern. <laughs> if it was metal, it'd be a different story, but it's not. It's wood. So no real candles. Right here, I'm just um, checking to see about how far down I need to drill the hole with those screws. And I'm just adding some tape and then I'll go through and drill my holes. I will say that I did not put a clear coat finish on this. I'm hoping that the paint just does its thing and everything turns out great. We will see. We will we will see how these hold up for the next couple of years. Especially with our snow and and the rain situation that's happening right now. We just have so much rain lately. I know there's been a couple of places that have flooded and I'm like, "Oh my goodness." 
I mean, I love the rain. It's great. Look how cute those are, don't they? They just look so cute and sleek. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. At the end, there will be one at night so that you can see them glow. Um, but I appreciate you. See you next time.